This is snow on the Sunshine Coast of BC. <laughs> I'm not excited about being out, but you know, we've had this snow for two, three weeks now and I feel like it's only fair to show you guys snow on the coast. This is like the longest stretch of a few weeks that we've had of snow and cold. So this is kind of like an anomaly of a winter. We usually, we don't get this much. For the last few weeks, we've kind of been averaging at like two above during the day and minus two at night. And uh, mostly like it'll maybe snow every second day, but then every second day in between, sometimes it rains. So it's always at that point where it's between rain and snow, which means that there's a lot of ice on the road. <laughs> a lot of ice on the roads and just not great conditions. So a lot of people are just staying at home because they live on hills and then they just can't do the hills. And then the local road people aren't keeping up because this is kind of an extreme. Honestly, I don't know if it's the right thing to knock the snow off these branches, but I feel like they're getting weighed down a little bit and I don't want the branches to break. So I feel like I'm just kind of gently knocking the snow off, then they'll save those branches. I'm grabbing a bit of rosemary because I want to make bread. I'm gonna make fresh herb bread. This is the recipe that I got from my cousin Lorianne and I think she got it from a trip to Europe. One package active dry yeast and half a teaspoon sugar two and a quarter cups warm water and I'll just let this sit here for about 10 minutes just to make sure that bubbles form and that the yeast is actually active. Next you add four tablespoons sugar, two tablespoons of herbs. So in these herbs it's two teaspoon basil, two teaspoon thyme and two teaspoon rosemary. One tablespoon salt and for the full recipe of the flour you'll need about six and a quarter cups to six and three quarter cups but in this bowl I've measured six and a quarter cup and I'm gonna add three cups for now. Then add two tablespoons canola oil. I'm gonna mix this all up, get it a good first mix and then just start adding the rest of the flour. The half cup of flour here I have set to the side if I need it or not. Turn the dough onto a floured surface and then start kneading and adding a little bit of flour here as needed and knead for about eight minutes. This is where I add my cheese. I can't leave a recipe alone, so any recipe I'll do some kind of variation. And with this one here, I actually added two cups of cheddar cheese. So it's up to you if you want to add the cheddar cheese or not. And now I'm going to form my dough into a nice bread dough ball. I pre-greased these pans with butter. And now I'm just going to oil my dough a little bit and then put them in your pans. And then you'll let them rise on the counter covered for about one and a half to two hours. You can also preheat the oven at 150 and put them in the oven and let them rise in there as well. So until they're double in size. This has been an hour and it's not quite ready yet. So I'm going to let it rise just a little bit more, but I will start my oven. I use the quick rise yeast. So with that, you don't need the two step rising process. You just right away shape it into the final ball that you want and then just let it rise once. You bake this bread at 375 for 30 to 35 minutes. About halfway through, you can cover the bread with foil so that the cover doesn't get too dark. It is the best bread ever. I love it, I love it. I could just eat it toast after toast with of course lots of butter. So good. So big bread especially when it's cold outside. Why not? And then eat and enjoy this deliciousness. Oh, wow. Yes, lots of butter, because that is what is so delicious. Are you ready for this delicious, herby, cheesy, so much buttery, toasted, fresh bread? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, it turned out awesome. So good. I love the crunch. Um, yeah, it's just perfect. Taste is perfect. Paul and I are just in Lower Gibson's. We're ch checking out the snow. We're checking out Gibson's in snow. We got a foot of snow last night. There were lots of kids with families out playing in the snow. I didn't even think of this as a toboggan hill. No, me either. That's great. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> All kinds of activities around the water. The ducks were enjoying this little bit of sunshine. These ducks were hilarious. It's not often that we see these waterfront paths covered in snow. The snow looks great up on the mountains. I just don't want it down here at sea level. 
We're down by the marina and I wanted to come check out the ice here. So you would think, oh, it's, it's ocean, it's salt water, it's seawater, it shouldn't be frozen. But there's a lot of freshwater streams that come out here and then there's not much movement in the marina water here. So then there is a lot of ice and uh, a lot of ice this year, more than usual because we are getting colder temperatures. My mouth is freezing already. <laughs> I know that people from the lower mainland or maybe that they come from someplace warm and tropical, this is like magical to them, but magical ran out for me about 1987 and now it's just a pain in the butt. It's cold and it gets every place and this is my love for you that I'm out here right now <laughs> showing you all this snow and misery on a below zero day. So this is how you feel about the snow, hey? Yeah. <laughs> and about me, thank you. <laughs> Love for me, hate for snow. That's right, yes, in <laughs> equal balance. As much as I love you, that's how much I dislike the snow. Hmm. Hmm. Look ahead, look astern, look the weather in the lee. Blow high, blow low, and so sail we. I see a wreck to windward and a lofty ship to lee. A sailing down along the coast of high Barbary. Inhale her, O oh captain, he called o'er the side. Blow high, blow low, and so sail we. Oh, are you a pirate or a man of war? He cried. A sailing down along the coast of high Barbary. We've just had three days and three nights of rain on and off, but this is great because that means that all the snow is gone. No more dealing with snow, no more shoveling snow, or no more yucky roads. So we love the rain. Now we have green grass and all is well again in BC.